I just went to the Powell bookstore. It's huge. It's like a whole like block. It's got like every book you could ever want. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> There's a ton of these locations. I think I went to the main one and I found one book on Portland that I want to look at because I want to come back here because I really like it here and two books on Seattle and supposedly Seattle's supposed to be a little bit better than Portland's but I'm not sure I think I like the smallness of Portland I got my donuts at the Voodoo Donut. I'll have to show you them later because I'm not going to eat them now because they make me feel like I'd be nauseous. But I'm going to go get coffee. My donuts are probably um, really messed up by now and they make me feel like I'm going to be really sick, but we got to try them. Uh. And I didn't know what they were called and they had like so many options so I just was like I'll take the purple one with the sprinkles and the one that's chocolate with the orange on top and it's actually peanut butter and I kind of hate peanut butter um wow donuts and they don't they make you want to vomit right now they make me want to vomit right now but I should try them hopefully it's just that is the peanut butter Ugh. I just avoid the peanut butter it's good I, people in Portland like probably stay really slim like even though they've got all these places that you can get really bad food at because you walk like you can walk everywhere and I rode the bus and it's not bad here San Francisco bus bad Portland bus good these houses are pretty cool they're all colorful kind of like clean colorful though Unlike San Francisco's, they looked kind of needing in a paint job. These look fresh. How would you like to live in one of these? The one thing about Portland is there are a ton of parks. Um, this one is called Cooch, not pronounced couch. I read about it before I came, you know, like because a lot of the guidebooks tell you how to be like a local. I'm actually going to this area where I read if you want to be like a hipster. The squirrels look so weird here. Let's see if I can find it. Where did he go? They just look a lot bigger than normal. Oh, you can't see him. He like went under. But they look a lot bigger than normal. Well, Florida normal. And they also, um, they also have like a weird like spots on them. Oh shit, I stepped on something. Oh, gross. Let's just slide our feet. But anyway, also if you like basically look online, you can find out all kinds of different information and whatnot. And I read, I read, I found a site that said how to be a hipster for a day in Portland. And um, one of the areas that I'm going to is the area they said, you know, that's the hipster area. So I'm like, I'm intrigued. Let's go to the park. This is really cute. This is the area they were talking about. And then if you go over to the right, to 21st Street, um, there's like bars and stuff. Good times. I got a nice boba tea. I hate karaoke, but if I were to like it, I would go to that place right there. Now, is this, what street is this? 21st, this is where the bars are. I don't really see any hipsters, so, you know, once, like, E. Howe knows when, where the hipsters are, I guess that's where they, they don't hang out anymore. That you could, like, just go sit on these hills, like, very Alice in Wonderland-esque. Take off your shoes and read a book. And I heard that when it rains in places like Portland, it's not like where it rains in Florida. Like when it rains in Florida, it like pours, but like you get like little bits of rain. I can handle little like, little tiny. Something is really charming about this little street, like the houses and all of the landscape and everything. It's 18th Avenue in the Alphabet District. There's some kind of coffee shop on the corner. How pretty. 
This is the Pearl District. I really like the like whole warehouse feel. It kind of reminds me of the meatpacking district in New York City. I think the cool thing about um, Portland is there's so many little areas, but they mesh so well together. And they're all really cute. They have like a Lululemon, a West Elm, and all other kinds of stores. Let's see, there's a diesel there. I think that's a Whole Foods. This is very cute. I'll quickly show you my outfit of the day. Um, so I'm wearing, you know, typical, my diamond necklaces. I do shower in them. People ask me all the time. I shower in my jewelry. Um, I don't shower in the chains because, like, I've slept in them before. Um, and if they're doubled or something, I'll end up kind of like choking myself in the middle of the night. Um, so I sleep in like things like this. Um, this is a 36 inch chain, I believe, by Lisa Tabas. It's for sale on my website, as are these, as is my love ring. Um, the diamond ring that I have, it's half channel set, you can get at any jeweler. Um, the love ring will not twist like this if you have it in the right size, which I need to get half a size smaller. So I will do that eventually. Um, I'm wearing my rose gold bracelets. I really enjoy the rose gold. Um, I would love to get a rose gold watch. I one time saw this rose gold Rolex and I really, really wanted it, but it was like $8,000, $10,000. Yeah, so... I didn't get that. <laughs> um, this is, shirt is by Ella Moss. I got it at the store not that long ago. You might have seen me say I'm getting this and then I got it. And then the shirt underneath is like a really good tank top by Only Hearts. Um, these are kind of like amazing tank tops and I keep meaning to put them, oh sorry, I keep meaning to put them on my website but like they cover like bra straps and everything and they're just a good fitting tank top. So sometimes I'll wear them underneath. And then my shorts are um, Seven for All Mankind, and um, my feet are killing me. I was wearing Javiana flip-flops today. Uh, I washed my feet in the tub, um, and I am ordered room service because I couldn't deal with walking anywhere else, anywhere else tonight because I want to save my feet for Seattle. Any good tattoo places in Seattle? I really want to get a tattoo. I want to get my all is pretty tattoo quote. Where do you think that would be the most appropriate to put on my body? All is pretty. Andy Warhol quote. Okay, so check it. I got some crab cakes that are... I've never seen crab balls. They're basically crab balls, but they look and smell really, really good. And then I ordered a steak, but then they didn't have the steak, so I got a ribeye instead. So, oh, and let's not, let's not show you, I also ordered creme brulee. Woohoo! <laughs> I am excited. I am ecstatic.